Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the serpentine belt tensioner on this uh, 2005 Silverado with the 4.3 liter. Uh, this vehicle, like I said, has the 4.3 liter, so procedure is the same for any Silverado or Sierra with the 4.3 liter. And since this is the 05, it does have the electric fan, so everything is really easy to get to in the front. Um, if you have an earlier version, you may have the engine fan on the engine. just makes things just a little more difficult to get to. Okay, so if you hear some squeaking with your, um, when your engine's running and it changes, if your AC's on or you're putting a load on your alternator, come in here and check your belt, okay? My tensioner is actually in good shape, so that's about how tight it should be, but if you can press down more than that, and when you're pressing, the tensioner moves quite a bit. I'll show you here. My tensioner, when I press, doesn't really move a lot, but as these loosen up and age, when you press on the belts, okay, you'll be able to move the tensioner quite a bit. Now, if I really pull, you can see I can really move that tensioner, okay, but that's a, that's me pulling hard. Um, if you just put some pressure on, especially over here, that tensioner shouldn't move at all. Okay, serpentine belt, pretty easy. First, make sure you find your um, belt diagram. This is the 4.3 liter V6. So there's the diagram, and it matches up with what's in the engine compartment. Okay, removing the belt is pretty easy. Put a 3 8 drive ratchet right in here. Okay, pull on that. You can see that loosens the belt. Move it from the idler pulley up top. Release that slowly. and you can pull your belt right off. Okay, remove your tensioner. It's a 15 millimeter bolt. Use a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet or a wrench will work too. Good easy engine to work on for sure for the front seems to get the job done in this truck. We don't ask it to do a lot, just haul some stuff around every once in a while. Okay, tensioner comes off. Okay, reinstall the tensioner. And my old one is in good shape, so I'm just putting it back in. New ones from one are gonna bolt in there just the same. There's uh, obviously the hole where the bolt goes through, and then there's a locating tab, goes into the hole there. So just make sure that you put that in correctly. Put the bolt in. Good and tight, not too tight though. Between 35 and 40 foot pounds. Okay, the belt on, you want to follow the pattern. Can't really see this, but I'm going to go down around the uh, crank pulley first, and then I bring this up and around the water pump here. Okay. Okay. And then it goes from the water pump down to the power steering pulley here. Okay, up to the AC pulley. Okay, across the tensioner and the alternator. I'm just gonna kind of reach down, make sure everything's pretty much on the way it should be. Okay, and now you can press down and you see the belt starts to tighten up as you try and press it onto the idler here. And then we take our uh, wrench, put it in, press down 
and that gives us the slack to put the belt right in here. Okay, then just check, make sure it's on all the pulleys correctly. It's in the grooves. It's actually not quite on there correctly here, so pull it off here. New belt's on. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888 844 3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.